Yo, bloody actor here guys and welcome back to yet another episode of Kenyan Gaming Setups. As usual, keep your negative comments away from the comment section because I'm here to showcase what you guys are rocking. Now, if you enjoyed these videos, be sure to hit the like button, share these videos with everyone and anyone. Remember, it's not only gamers who are interested in watching these videos, but um, other people tend to be interested as well. Now, today I'm over at Black Eyed, Black Eyed Beans, Black Eyed Beans Place. <laughs> he hit me up on Instagram and uh, yeah, you see, if you hit me up, Dakuja. And uh, yeah, let's go check his setup out. So yeah, guys, as you can see, I'm already in his room and, uh, you know, taking a look at his setup. It's a hybrid setup, meaning there is a PC and a console. The second PS5 in this series, uh, there's a clear... There's a clear, I don't know if this is a white theme going on, but there's a white and black theme. But I wouldn't say that because the controller is maroon, so... <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, it's cool. It's sick. So yeah, let's uh, head on over to the specs that he is rocking. For the PC case, he's rocking the Summer W018 ATX Gaming PC case. Now the holes you see on the front of the PC case do not come with the case itself. Rather, this is a custom modification that he did to the PC case. Inside the case, we have an AMD Ryzen 7 2700 8 core 16 thread CPU. I believe this is a second generation of Ryzen processors. Cooling this CPU, we have the Cooler Master Master Air MA410P CPU cooler. Heading over to his RAM there, he's rocking the Corsair Vengeance Pro, which is uh, that 2 GB. Taking a look at his graphics card there, he's rocking the EVGA GeForce GTX 1060, and this is the 6GB edition. As you do know, these EVGA cards are going to get more rare and rare as the series progresses. Heading over to his storage there, I believe the boot drive is on the 500GB Samsung 970EVO which is an M.2 SSD paired up with a 1TB SATA SSD from A Data paired up with 4TB of different external hard drives. All of this is mounted on an Aorus B450 Pro Wi-Fi AM4 motherboard. Powering this whole unit, we have the Thermaltake Smart Pro RGB 750 watt power supply. Heading over to his monitor there, he's rocking an AOC CU34G2X, which is a 1440p 144Hz carved monitor. Taking a look at his keyboard there, he's rocking a generic AOC brand keyboard. This is a first for me because I did not even know AOC makes keyboards. And also first for me in the mouse department, he is rocking a Xiaomi wireless mouse, which is the silent edition. For his mousepad there, he's rocking a generic foldable PUBG XXL mousepad. Heading over to his joystick and controllers, he's rocking an Xbox Series X controller. And of course you did see the PS5, so he's also using the PS5 DualSense controller. Heading over to his sound department there, he is using the Amazon Alexa Echo Dot. Paired up with the SteelSeries Actis 3 console headphones. And for his internet service provider, he is rocking the Safaricom 20 Mbps package. The total price estimate for everything here as of the time he was buying this was 300000 but of course, some of these parts have uh, aged quite gracefully. So if you were to buy this machine right now, it would cost you significantly, most probably even half the price mentioned. So what do you use this setup for? I mostly use the setup for writing code and gaming. Did you assemble it or did you buy everything at once? For the PC, I bought it at once pre-assembled from a shop called Computer Mat Kenya in town. The monitor is from Shuffle PCs. PS5 is from a shop called Koanil or Koanil. Yeah. 
So yeah, nini watu ni wanaogopa Luthuli, set kila kitu kwa nimbaya. I bought a couple of things there as myself. So what do you like about this setup? For the PC, I like it because it looks good the RGB and everything, plus it's also very fast. Uh-huh. And uh, what are you planning to change about the setup? Uh, first upgrade will be the GPU. Right now I'm rocking a 1060. I plan to upgrade to a 3060 series or something similar in future. Okay, so how is your internet connection? Uh, so far, internet is very good. I'm using Safari Com Home Fiber Silver Package, which goes for 4,100 shillings a month and yeah it's it works well so yeah guys we've come to the end of the video be sure to hit the like button and also if you enjoyed the videos be sure to share them with everyone and anyone remember if you want me to come to your place hit me up on instagram discord as you can see black eyed beans hit me up and i came through join the world game in discord all your other gamers were cool. so if you're looking for other gamers to game with they are there and uh yeah i don't think i have anything else to say other than i should see you in the next one